All right, picking up here, I've got SOLIDWORKS open, uh, and I'm just going to come to File, Open, and then Browse to where I put uh, that uh, object that I made, or STL that I made, in this case, this low poly head. Uh, and instead of all files down here, I'm going to click on it and come to STL, and then under Options, let's click on that. And um, if you know your unit sizes, you can set it here. Um, I think mine was in inches. Um, I'll check it to see. If not, I'll show you how to resize uh, these things. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. And you've got your choice uh, as a graphics body, a surface body, or a solid body. Let me show you a graphics body just so you'll see uh, what happens. I don't need to import any texture information uh, with this thing. I just want the model. In fact, I don't even think it would. Uh, so. I'll just say OK uh, after that, and then open, and let it think about it. Oh, sorry, didn't give it, didn't, didn't actually pick it. All right, let me get that, let me get the low poly head, options, graphics body, OK, and open. There we go. And so yeah, it comes in as STL graphics, yeah, and there's the head. Uh, and that's fine, you could use that yeah, as a reference. I could. Uh, come in on my front plane, start a sketch on it, and start here. And yeah, just based on this, let's see, I think I've got this set, yeah, got it set to, well, it's custom, but it's inch gram second. So, um, yeah, and I think this line is roughly about five inches, um, yeah, about five and a half, which is about temple to temple. That's, that's about average um, uh, across there, maybe a little lie wide or a little smaller. Uh, so the, uh, this thing, it looks like it came at the right size uh, and the right orientation if we back out uh, and rotate around. Yeah, it's looking good. Uh, but it's just a graphics body. You can't do anything with it other than look at it. Uh, so yeah, it, it's just something you can, in fact, let's see, can I even hide it? Yeah, there. Uh, but. Uh, that's really all it is, just kind of a visual reference. Uh, but it's very light. Uh, it doesn't have a, a huge impact on the performance of SOLIDWORKS. Uh, that's, that's the trade-off. So uh, I'm going to close this. And this time I want to do a file open. Again, browse to that same bit. Tell it I want to open STL files. I'm going to go to my low poly head. And under my options, this time I'm going to say surface body. Leave this at inches, say OK, and open. Let it parse through it. Do you want to run import diagnostics on this part? No. So now you can see that I can actually interact with this thing. It's, it's a surface body, uh, and it's got edges, faces, and vertices on it. Uh, and the cool thing about that is you can use those as uh, reference uh, for drawing. So again, I could start a sketch on the front plane. Let's get my line tool, say pick one of these uh, areas right here at the temple. So pick this corresponding area over here. Let's put some dimensions on that. Yeah, well, that's about four inches. That's a little bit narrow. Also, yeah, and because these things have relations, uh, it would be driven uh, from those. Uh, if you didn't want that to happen, you can just pick these delete. Uh, sorry, pick these relations and delete them now that this thing is free floating. Uh, but I think it's still about right, you know, kind of looking at the overall uh, size of it. So I'll say OK uh, with that. don't really need that sketch. Uh, if you do need to change this thing, if it comes in at the wrong orientation or if it comes in at the wrong scale, uh, you go to Insert, Features, Move copy, and here you can you know, pick this as the body you want to uh, move or copy. You can get the little triads in here if you need to. You know, mouse in until I get that. Move it around. I want to make sure I don't have copy on. Uh, you can grab these, rotate uh, things, uh, but understand that you've got to do translation and rotation uh, separately. So uh, you can do. You know, work with that or you can type you can do you can type things in here so if I need it say five inches 
in one of those directions. I can type that in, say OK. But I uh, don't really need that uh, in this case, so I'm not going to do it. And if I need to scale it, I can come to Insert, Features, Scale. And here, uh, uniform scaling, yep, you want to do that. Otherwise, you, know, you can scale in X, Y, and Z. But in this case, I just want to scale this thing up. Scale about centroid, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Uh, and right now, it's set to 1. So if I need to make it bigger, I want to make it twice the size, type in 2. Uh, and say OK, let it think about it, and now it's two times that size. If I need to make it smaller, let's edit that feature, say half the size, so 0.5, say OK, and you know, now it's smaller. So uh, you can scale things that way. Uh, this, the, the rotation is especially critical uh, in case, in fact, let's go back, insert, uh, feature, move, copy, and let's set this you know, to rotate and let's pick this thing. Uh, if it comes, a lot of times it comes in uh, at the wrong rotation, so I'm going to rotate it around here. Uh, let's get 60, 90 in there somewhere. Oh, uh, here, let me just type it in and say OK. Yeah, and so. Um, yeah, sometimes uh, yeah, these things will come in at, at the wrong rotation, and so you'll need to uh, change things around. Um, other times you can come in and uh, I would assume change the floor uh, over here in this in the uh, view scenes uh, and lights. So that my scene here, my environment, double click on that. And down here I can change you know, which plane. Uh, I can line the floor with, right now it's in the bottom view plane, but you can set it into, you can pick a plane or you can use any of these other planes to uh, change that. That's another way to uh, you, you get, make sure you've got this thing oriented uh, face up, face down, whatever you really need. Uh, so, uh, But I, I think in this thing's case, well, that's weird, I'm not really seeing the floor in this scene, but um, it seems to be okay. Uh, yeah, I rotated it. So let's see, let's go back to my features here. Uh, let's roll back before that rotation. Uh, and oops, not to there, uh, but to there. Yeah, so it's Y up. So that's where, that's the way you'd want it uh, in SolidWorks. Uh, yeah, and then beyond that, uh, it's uh, you do your sketching you know, however you want to use it, and then you can um, hide this thing uh, and then continue working. Um, and uh, it's a great way to uh, you know, use a, have a reference uh, in here uh, to build uh, geometry around.